What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Matthew Walker, aka the Greensboro Kid. How y'all doing today, man? Hey, listen, we're reacting to when a man becomes a legend. This is on Kobe Bryant. You know what I'm saying? The Black Mamba. But um, if you're new to the channel, make sure y'all subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Join the family. You know what I'm saying? We only going up. That's our own direction. That's our own direction. Like there's no, there's no other, not right, not left, not down. Definitely not down. We only going up, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like the video, you mess with it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, comment down below for any more recommendations that you may have for me. And if it's lit, I'll most definitely react to it. No cap. So uh, without further ado, haha. <laughs> Let's get this video, man. Hope y'all doing good, man. Staying right, staying healthy, stay all all that good stuff, staying well and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this video, man. Three, two, one. Let's get it, man. Best player I ever played against. I mean, Kobe is more skilled than any player that's ever played that I've seen. I agree. He knows that. In his heart, he's the best ever. Welcome to the Kobe Show. I think Kobe's the most skilled player shots, ever. Shooting over taller opponents. Footwork with extraordinary grace. The Elan Vital of the athletic balladry that he put on that court. I think there has been nobody better than Kobe Bryant. Uh, there's, there's nothing you can say. I mean, this, this kid is unreal. Time right now. Facts. He's the best player in basketball, and I don't think it's even close. Facts. One time, one game, I'm taking Kobe Bryant. Like, I'm going right at you. I want to be better than you. Kobe Bryant was the best basketball player ever lived. Well, you know, he's the greatest that's ever played. Kobe Bryant will go down as the greatest basketball player that has ever lived. The best player, closer. This dude had everything in the toolbox times three. All respect, man. I've seen this type of mastery at this level. Kobe. Kobe Bryant. That's Kobe Bryant. 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 Yes, sir. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. This guy's unbelievable, man. There's no doubt that he's the best player that I've faced. What he's able to do That's offensively respect. and defensively is, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And I look up to a guy like Kobe Bryant just because of what he's able to do every night he goes out on the basketball court. Yes. So, <clears> once again, I'm quoting uh, again saying that Kobe Bryant is the best player in our league. He has the capacity through his will and determination. Hey, look at that. <laughs> That's a black mama face right there, bro. No one understands what it takes to be great. Mm. The force that drives you to do what others don't. The sacrifice is made. All with one purpose in mind. Push yourself to become better. The extra seconds, minutes, hours of work put into perfecting one's game. Thanks. <laughs> Lifting yourself above the rest to make sure your name will forever be synonymous with one word, greatness. On June 26th, 1996, the NBA was introduced to a 17-year-old kid out of Philadelphia, the fifth player in league history to make the jump straight from high school to the NBA. And yet, even with all of this hype, with all the heavy expectations, with the bar set impossibly high on this kid, he somehow managed to exceed all expectations every single time in every way possible. You know, I wasn't sure if I wanted to make That's this insane. video. That's so hard to do. It's so devastating, it's almost incomprehensible. What is there to say that hasn't already been said? Mm. Kobe, the Black Mamba. The man who made us dream big, persevere, overcome, yes, sir. get knocked down, and get right back up and do it all over again yes, because sir. that's what champions do. The man who taught us about loyalty, strength, discipline, and unshakable, unmistakable possession of heart and persistency. Thanks. The part where he taught us to never back down. To never quit until I have reached the top and I dare anyone to try to stop me. Facts. That part. Facts. That Kobe 
energy Facts. that unmatched unwavering contagious energy that only the black mamba could bring well, so today with a heavy heart i want to celebrate kobe's life with y'all some memorable moments in kobe's career who he was as a player and a person and the irreplaceable role he played in our lives now we've discussed kobe and all of his glory on this channel more times than i can even count like the time when we took an in-depth look at every single time Kobe faced off against Jordan. Mm. Or when we crunched the numbers to see if a prime Kobe Bryant could score 100 points in today's NBA. The conclusion we came I to... I remember that. <laughs> of course he could. Yeah. He's Kobe Bryant. And then there was the time when we took a dive into the exact moment when Kobe became the Black Mamba and put the entire world of basketball on notice. When he was on the court, it was Kobe's world, and everyone else was just living in it. Not a single weakness in his game, physically Facts. or mentally. And don't even get me started on Afro Kobe. I don't know what that man was putting into his hair, but when Kobe was rocking the fro, there wasn't a soul on planet Bro. Earth that could keep up with my guy was ridiculous the us, on the court. Like when Michael Jordan told Kobe he could wear the shoes, but he would never fill them. So as mm. a farewell gift, Kobe put 55 mm. on his head. Mm. The best part is you know Kobe was loving every minute yes, of that sir. Beat down, Meticulously choosing his spots, talking smack, just <laughs> being Kobe. Or the time he threw that alley-oop to Shaq, sealing the deal in game seven to go to the NBA Finals. A moment that has been ingrained in all of our memories. Facts. Or what about the time when Kobe outscored the entire Dallas Mavericks roster for three quarters, dropping 62 points in just 32 minutes? <laughs> what a savage, you gotta love it. And of course, the famous 81 point game that had us all in shock and made even the biggest Kobe haters say, well, I'll be damned. Kobe once had the nerve to bet $500,000 in the middle of a game on a free throw. Of course, no one wanted to take that bet, and he drilled it. And let's not forget about the time when Matt Barnes tried to spook our dude. And Kobe just stood there like, dog, you know who I am, right? Or how about the time when Kobe gifted the entire Lakers roster with his So many legendary shoes. moments, man. Then when the team got blown out by the Blazers, Kobe took the shoes back and told his teammates they couldn't wear them because they were too soft. Then there was the time he sank two clutch free throws in crunch time after tearing his Achilles. Can barely walk, but still sinks back-to-back -back free throws with three minutes left in the fourth. With all that pain, But this bro. was just another day in the life of Kobe. Or how about just a couple years ago when Kobe decided he wanted to make a short story, messed around, and got an Oscar. Right. Is that not the most Kobe thing Come you've on, ever bro. heard of? Oh, you know, just casually receives the most coveted award in an industry you've never been a part of because simply, why not? The man was a living legend. And I want to stray away from any GOAT discussions. I feel like this goes beyond basketball. And his legacy is cemented in ways that transcends rankings and numbers. Hey, why? But I want to offer a perspective into hey. the mind of Kobe. A point of view that may shed some light on why many fans across the globe feel that there never was and never will be another Kobe Bryant. Thanks. See, back in 96, Kobe became the first guard to ever get drafted to the NBA straight out of high school. At the time, this huge jump had only occurred once in the modern NBA, which came in the year prior with Kevin Garnett. But unlike young stars that came after Kobe that took the NBA by storm, Kobe didn't quite see the same success early on in his career. As a first round lottery pick, Kobe spent his first two seasons in the league coming hey. off the bench, averaging just over 20 minutes a game and just under nine shots a game. Hmm. For a player that just two years prior was being anointed as the next Michael Jordan, this wasn't quite the start some fans were expecting. To put this into perspective, because you know we gotta give our boy Kobe a chart, here are numbers from other all-time greats in their first two seasons in the league. 
Add that to the fact that he dealt with a shortened lockout season in his third year, and Kobe's path to greatness was already starting to fill with more obstacles and challenges than his counterparts. In fact, here is a pre-draft scouting report on a 17-year-old Kobe. Let's see here. Very mature. Yup. Knows the game of basketball and what needs to be done to win. Um, yeah. A true leader who dominated games with triple teams most of the time. Yup. Fierce competitor with Accurate. a lot of determination. Bruh. No brainer. Has perfected the turnaround jumper, Jordan's trademark. Well, hold up. What's this guy no reporting this? Whoever wrote this, Jason. Your scouting report from 24 years ago oh my gosh. was spot on. Hey, I, I need you to be I my mean, scout report right now, bro. We'll talk. Gold, all the way down to oh, his moves. Here's another facts. scouting report that was pretty accurate, but personally, I prefer the fan-made version. This is Kobe. And fortunately, his early struggles set him up for a monumental rise. From role player to an all-star coming off the bench, to a key franchise player to superstar status slowly but surely getting better and better every single season eventually transcending the sport itself kobe's path to greatness was not your conventional hero's arc well then again nothing kobe did was conventional averaging 45 points for an entire month being the best offensive and defensive player in the entire league simultaneously, winning with rosters that did not have the makeup of a championship team. Kobe was just different. In fact, it is this exact quality about Kobe and his game that elevates the Black Mamba into the realm of the best player to ever lace up status. See, here's the thing. Kobe didn't have LeBron's durability. He didn't have Michael's giant mitts and ungodly vertical leap. He didn't have Kareem's length or Shaq's frame or any of that. Now don't get me wrong, Kobe had the tools, but where other players were put on the fast track to basketball superstardom, Kobe Bryant had to painstakingly build his track piece by piece. Every shot, every failure and shortcoming, every moment on the court was cataloged in Kobe's basketball index categorized, practiced, practiced some more, fine-tuned, and executed to perfection, to perfection the next time you saw him. Kobe took the great skill set and tangibles that he was born with, and through years of discipline and focus, crafted that same skill set into the deepest, most versatile, deadly, polished bag the game has ever seen. Because the older I get, the less I appreciate raw talent, mm. and the more I admire other stuff. Courage, willpower, commitment, fearlessness, competitiveness, Thanks. the absolute obsession to win and be the best. It's willpower. That was Kobe Bryant. That willpower, Freakishly though. talented, and Need yet practice. somehow even more exceptional at everything else. A few months ago on his podcast, Gilbert Arenas discussed what made Kobe so incredible at his craft, and I couldn't agree any more with him. If you go 6'6 six, six guard, and you took all their names off and put their attributes on it, you wouldn't find Kobe. Mm -hmm. He'd be somewhere at the bottom. Hmm. Because of his measurement, like we're not talking about how he uses it, gotta remember, he uses it maximized. Mm -hmm. like, he uses 38 inches better than most people use their 42s, 44s. Mm, so the that's fact facts, that though. Kobe did more, maximize less. Every shot had to be harder. That's a perfect word, the, bro. He couldn't just jump over everybody. His shots was more difficult. The reason Kobe will be number one is just like 300. Mm -hmm. Leonidas. Mm -hmm. You don't supposed to win this fight. Hey. You're not supposed to get close to the, the, the Greek guy hey. is supposed to kill you guys. But the fact that you made him believe mm -hmm. is the reason we remember, we remember you. Mm -hmm. You fought and stood knowing you were going to die. That's why Kobe's number one. Mm -hmm. So the fact that out of all the athletes that ever came in this league, the one who is average is the one who got close to the Greek God makes him the Greek God. He had to work for every 
everything that he got. Everything, bro. Although the loss of Kobe and his daughter Gigi has left the basketball Harvey, world man. shattered, hurt, and just absolutely heartbroken, I feel so blessed to have witnessed the greatness that was Kobe Bryant. So as time passes, we must do our best to preserve the legacy of Kobe. NBA, I'm talking to you. Among the suggestions I have seen from fans, many said that the NBA should retire both the numbers 24 and 8 to honor the Black Mamba. And although I think this would be great, I've got something even better. Make January 26th Kobe Day or Mamba Day around the league and for the games that are scheduled for that day, have one team all wear number 8 and the other wear all number That's 24. Respect. That way we are all reminded of Kobe's Man. legacy each year. Of course, having a team full of players with the same numbers would get a bit tricky with the refs. I'm sure we could figure it out. Another suggestion that I personally feel the league has got to do is change the NBA I was gonna say to that. Kobe. I was going to say that. To me, this is a no-brainer. The NBA has a shady past with the existing logo anyways. We've discussed this in a previous video. Jerry say West that. himself has said for years now that he no longer wants to be the logo. And honestly, the league has evolved so drastically over the past decade that I feel a new logo would be a fitting way to bring in this new era of the NBA. The players that will be playing in the NBA 10, 20 years from now, we all looked up to Kobe. That's facts. It only makes sense. And what better way to immortalize the man that made us fall in love with the game than by making him the face of the league. Kobe Bryant was the physical embodiment of basketball. He gave every fiber of his being <laughs> to this game. I think it's time the game gave back to Kobe. There are so many things I could say about this guy right here. I could go on for days, and I mean that quite literally. Kobe, thank you for inspiring us, for showing us that our mind is the most powerful tool of all. Thank you for 81. Thank you for one, two, three, four, five championships. Thank you, Kobe, for everything. Shout out Kobe Bryant, man. Shout out Kobe Bryant. Oh, man. He wasn't the most athletic. He didn't have the biggest hands, the biggest frame. He wasn't the most fastest. But like Gilbert Arenas said, that was the most perfect word he used. He maximized the things he had to the best to the best of his ability, bro. It's that fire, bro. I remember Giannis said, Giannis said, like, like, why, what's the difference between uh, a 6'6", six, six, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, I said, like, you got MJ and you got another 6'6 six, six guard. But this dude can jump as high as MJ, can, can, he has the athletic abilities, but why isn't he one of the greats? And Giannis says because he don't got that flame. People like Kobe, you know what I'm saying? MJ, Braun, you know what I'm saying? Um, Will Chamberlain, you know what I'm saying? Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, all of them guys, because they got that flame inside, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes you, that's what makes you different. Is what will you use to the best of your ability, bro? You know what I'm saying? And Kobe used the max of every, bro. He used the, the most out of everything, bro. The most out of everything. He did more with less. You know? That's why he's the, that's why to me he's the most skilled player of all time, in my opinion, because he, he used, bro. He used everything. He practiced over and over and over. Wake up, like his mindset on just perfecting his craft, bro. Man, that's a, that's a legend right there, bro. R.P. Kobe, Kobe Bryant, Gigi, man. You know.
But um, thank you for a recommendation, homie. You know what I'm saying? You know who you are. I really, really appreciate it. You know, but that was Kobe Bryant. Um, that was Kobe Bryant right there, man. You know, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video right here, man. You know, I enjoyed it. The members of Kobe Bryant, man. I really, I really wish the NBA could change the logo to Kobe Bryant, bro. Cause I be, that's a hundred percent respect. He gave a, he gave a lot to the game, a lot. So the game should do a return, you know. But that's gonna do it for the video, man. Hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. You know what I'm saying? So you don't miss a beat. And uh, hope y'all stay right, stay healthy, stay blessed. Love her very much. Peace.